I like to educate people. Even people in your own community still need to be educated because the reason there is that hatred or the reason there is that discrimination towards someone else in your community is because you are uneducated. Until you are fully educated in all the things that evolve the community, mm -hmm. you can't really discriminate against someone. How can you judge someone without knowing everything about that person? You can't, and people do it every day. Like, it's not even within the community. People judge people every single day. I do it. I see someone walking down the street, they got a crazy haircut. I'm like, yo, why you walk out of the house like that? People do it every <laughs> single day. Mm -hmm. But it's really sad when you don't take the time to understand someone before judging them. Mm -hmm. Like, if I would have took the time to look and see that she had a baby, I could have been like, all right, you woke up and went out of the house like that because you got a kid. You got other things on your mind. Your hair is the last thing you care about right mm -hmm. now. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking, why are you walking around like that? Do you know what I mean? It's the same yeah. thing within the community. Instead of someone sitting there and going, why are you transmasculine? What does that mean? How are you different from transgender? They're not going to understand my story and they're just going to automatically judge me based on appearance. And what their visualization of what someone trans should look like. How did you make the, the appearance decision? Like... I'm going to identify as trans masculine, but I don't want no beard. Um, so it, that was a struggle for me, too. When I grew up, I knew at a very young age I wasn't comfortable with myself, but I pretended to be because of my family. And even though it hurt every single day to wake up and dress like a girl and act like a girl and do all these girly things, I knew that that's what my family wanted. And when I finally decided that I wanted to let everyone know, like, hey, I'm not just gay, I'm trans. Mm -hmm. um, that was very hard for me because I knew I was going to lose members of my family. I was going to lose people that I called friends for a really long time. And it's a transition, right? Like, you know, you know. There's not one day you woke up and it was an epiphany and you're like, hey, I'm gay today or hey, I'm trans today. You know from very it young age. It seems like it happens that way. Well, people, that's the misconception. <laughs> everyone thinks that, but it's not. So, like, at a very young age, I knew. I knew I looked in the mirror and I didn't see what I wanted to see. Okay. I envied my brother. Like, I looked at him and I was like, why do you have what I want? Who, oh, you're one that's, like, super Eric, yeah, because we're very yeah. close. Like, we're very close. And growing up, I used to, like, put carrots in my pants and be like, hey, I got a wiener today. Like, you know what I mean? The stupid things like that because that made me comfortable. So when I finally grew up and I was able to say, like, I need to be me. I remember looking at my wife sitting down with her and crying and going, I'm sorry, but I'm not happy. You know this. You know that I complain all the time about having a chest and not having this and not having that. And mm. we looked at each other and we were like, all right, well, let's mm. see what we got to do to make you feel comfortable. And then at the end of the day, my transitions wasn't something that was comfortable with her. So we decided to um, take a step apart from each other and, you know, let her live her life being with women because that's what made her happy and me doing my thing. But the transition, I didn't know how I wanted to transition. I just knew mm -hmm. that these are the things I wanted. I knew I felt comfortable with the male pronouns. I know that I don't like my chest, which is a surgery I will be having. But I also knew that I hate hair. Like on me, I don't like hair. So mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't going to want a beard or a mustache mm -hmm. or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there's other <clears throat> things within that that we're not talking about on camera, but it's decisions that you make as an individual of what makes you comfortable in your transition. So every transition is different. Not everyone is the same because they're trans. I'm realizing that from talking to you now. Yes. Okay, so the people that said no because you were trans, have you ever tried to look at the situation from their point of view? Yes, every time I go into an interview, I always think of what, how, first of all, how to approach it with saying he, him, and not she, because you can't put that in a job application. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, on your, like, resume and stuff, you don't write next to your name. Preferred pronoun, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. going in and having that conversation, you always think about them, themselves. Even though no one is supposed to discriminate, people do it every day. They just don't have to tell you that's not why they're hiring you. But you can tell by their demeanor once you approach them with that situation. So I always think about what am I going to say? How am I going to say it to make it comfortable for them? Mm. 
and also in a way of educating them at the same time so they don't just judge you based on the fact that you use different pronouns. It sounds like the people that you were applying to, that they were just looking for a cookie cutter motherfucker to fit in, follow the rules, don't color outside the lines, don't think for yourself, just do what we want you to do. Um, and you don't seem like the type of person that can thrive in an environment like that. No. Everyone that gets into hair, we are creative. And if you're not able to express your differences and your creativity, then it's no point of being where you are. The only way you're going to grow is by expressing yourself. Mm. Fade in full.